Hello, and welcome to this week's video, um, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week, uh, it's possibly going to be a quite short video tonight, because um, I've basically come out for one shot. Um, regular viewers may have seen a video I did probably about six months or so ago um, out at the wreck on the River Brew and I was hoping for the tide to uh, come up around the wreck but unfortunately the tide that night it was a ten and a half meter tide and it it didn't quite come up as much as I had hoped tonight is 11.8 meter tide it's one of the higher tides of the year um, so the whole area should flood so I'm heading out to the wreck to hopefully get the shots I was after on that visit. So the only complication I may have is that sunset is at 25 to 8 um, and high tide is at nearly half past 8. So the chances are it's going to be getting fairly dark by the time we get to high tide. Um, but that won't be too much of an issue because I want to do slow exposures anyway to soften out the water all around the wreck um, so I may have to just do some slow exposures to get the uh, get the wreck may even have to do a bit of light painting we'll have to uh, have to see see how it goes to be honest so uh, I'll show you when we get to the wreck what we're uh, what the subject is I can see uh, see from the ground here from this morning's tide where the tide has come right up over this whole area here this whole grass area so it's looking quite promising there's our wreck which obviously when the tide does come in, we'll be hopefully completely surrounded by water. Um, I can position myself. I haven't got any, I've got waterproof boots, but no wellies, but I can position myself on that bank there or uh, somewhere around ready. But yeah, there's the wreck. So, all we've got to do now is sit back and wait for that water level to come up. I'll be quite interested to see how that sky is going to turn out in the next 20 minutes or so for sunset. Looking quite dramatic at the moment. So, could give us some options. So we may as well kill some time whilst we're waiting for the tide to come in. So, just getting a shot here using this bit of a puddle from this morning's tide as a foreground and we've got the rack and then that moody sky behind I'll, um, try and show you in the back of the camera if I can just take the 
take the exposure up so you can see the see the composition there so I've taken a couple of exposures um, so we're currently shooting f9 uh, for the sky shooting f9 at 1 40th of a second and for the foreground just bringing bringing it up slightly so that I can pull out some of the shadows I'm still at f9 1 20th of a second on both ISO 64 so yeah that sky is looking quite moody up there and the water level is coming up fast. is now just starting to make its way up around the boat comes up very quick so it won't be long now hopefully we can keep a bit of light to do some slow exposures and be able to get a focus and pick out the detail in the boat so taking a few pre-test shots anyway There is the incoming tide. Just how fast is that coming in? Now fully up around that boat. Okay, so this tide came in so fast I didn't have a chance to uh, talk through too much. I've taken several shots, which I'll put up for you. Um, light is so dim now. I'm uh, now shooting at uh, f14, 25 seconds. Nice slow exposure. Unbelievable how quickly that tide came in. Okay, so apologies, um, didn't get the chance to talk to you too much. The fading light and the tide coming in so fast, I was just concentrating on getting some shots, which I'll uh, put up for you. Like I said, a short one this week. Um, got my daughter's wedding next week, so possibly won't be a video. Um, but once again, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Keep up with the latest content and give the video a thumbs up. Drop a comment. It's always nice to get feedback. So, once again, thanks for watching. Till next time, and the wedding out the way. Take it easy.